¿Qué onda gente? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos a un nuevo video de Peace Walker de la franquicia Metal Gear Solid. Aquí acabamos de ver a las personas que acabamos de rescatar y al creador del juego Hideo Kojima, <risa> Mockingbird, Abeja, ese es Inocil, no se va directo al calabozo. Los que no quieren cooperar tienen que ir al calabozo. O se perdí como unos dos días y los otros se añaden a la unidad. Vamos a grabar porque el diablo nunca duerme, como dicen nuestras abuelas. Entonces se puede colgar el juego o algo. Después vamos al personal. Hideo, diseñador de juegos. <risas> el 70 de mi existencia compone de películas y tú decías que hacer con el otro 30. Mierda, eso yo tengo de biografía en mi Twitter. ¿Dónde lo ponemos? Equipo. Doctor. Doctor, ¿dónde son doctores? Ingeniero. ¿Dónde pondrías un ingeniero? Aquí. Mecánico. Ah, es menos que ingeniero, pero siempre sirve una ayudita. ¡Eso, papá! Rifle francotirador. Ametralladora. Esa onda. Mecánico. Nivel de inteligencia. A ver, aquí nomás. Médico soldado profesional. A los médicos. Good. Médico soldado profesional. Médicos. Güey. El enemigo de ayer es el aliado de hoy. Suministro entonces a donde tragan. Vamos a volver a grabar porque ya saben. The devil never sleeps. Ok. Y vamos a ir aquí. Esto es para que aprendan cómo se hace. Vamos a armas. Y tenemos... O sea, ya están desbloqueadas, pero tenemos que elegir... Por ejemplo, esta. Nivel ID 28. Ahorita tengo 14, o sea, nada que ver. Arma de corto alcance. Esta no me sirve de nada. Estas están... Pueden estar en desarrollo. ¿Qué es esta cosa de desarrollo? En 45. Vamos a ver qué tenemos primero. Francotirador, obvio. Mosinagan, esta es como la pistola tranquilizadora, pero el francotirador también me sirve. Ametralladora, sirve. ¿Qué es esto? Granada de humo, no me sirve mucho. Ay. PMB, 900, menos 973. Esta puedo cancelar. Porque tiene que ir descontándote hasta que termine de hacerlo. Y en la próxima misión te va a mostrar si lo hace o no. Objetos. ¿Qué es esto? Currificante. Ok. Eso es para... Es como una ración que te... Te da un poco más de vida. Es una ración más poderosa, digamos. Seleccionar misión. Hay que rescatar mucha más gente para tener muchas mejores armas, como ya han visto. Ahora me tengo que enfrentar a un cabroncete. ¿Cómo te controla la pupa? Careful Snake. I've never seen anything like that and I've got no idea how to bring it down. Maybe the scientists Dímelo a mí, papá. However you do it, take that thing out. Okay, a ver, vamos a ver si podemos. Necesito cosas buenas. Pues no tengo nada, viejo. Lo de siempre. Cámara. Nada. Nachos. Difusión popular en América Latina. Recupera la psique. Pues no hay nada, viejo. <risas> Esto... Ay. Nachos, mate. Desde la cámara y comenzaremos una vez. Puta, hemos tardado cuatro, cinco minutos en hacer eso. Qué jodido. Para mí han sido dos nomás o tres. No mamen. Me voy a tener que cortar si no lo logro. Joder. Ok, 
¿Qué onda con esto? Ok, a ver, vamos a ver si podemos... Romperle la madre. Joder. Una pupa, con cuidado. Me... Ay, mierda, me lo he Oh, te voy a vaciar, vaciar el cilindro. Te voy a vaciar el cargador en el cilindro. Oh, está cantando alguien. Puta, ¿dónde está? Ah, por aquí. Es como un trencito. Choco, 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 choco. Casi me das. Ay, mierda. Fuck. Puta, creo que no le voy a dar bien. Uy, cabrón. Científico de mierda, esto cae bien. ¿Dónde? No te veo. No veo el... Esa onda. Ay, carajo. Todavía no han llegado los suministros, coño. Puta, pero me dan relación, eh, chico. Ay, carajo, no te puedo disparar. Mierda. Eh, murito. Seguimos. Seguimos con este hijo de su pinche madre, que no sé qué mierda. ¿Cómo te has matado? Sí, es grande, tío. Puta madre. Ay, viejo. <risa> ¿Dónde está? <risa> Sabrio.
todo el cargador hasta el mío. Uy, uy. Tengo, tengo balas. Ay, coño. Puta. Cuidado. Coño. Puta madre. Puta madre, pero no pues así. Ay, mierda, no estoy yendo. No sé si lo voy a matar. Ay, coño. Ay, carajo. Mierda. 
Está siempre baja por ahí. ¿Qué? Por aquí siempre va, me cago. Pero joder No, no, no Ay, carajo Joder canción de mierda va a disparar pero ya pues Tengo que hacer eso, eso casi la cago, mierda. <risas> Dime qué hacer, pues, brother. Ay, mierda, qué jodido. <risas> casi no lo logro. Me parecía medio imposible. Ya, amarillo. You can unlock memory boards by destroying the mechanical components that they control. Any boards you remove can be used to build our own AI. Memory boards have different functions according to the icons displayed over them. Go ahead and take madre, no entiendo nada. Solo sé que sacando todo se ve a la mierda. Joder. Ya espero que no funcione, por favor. Jesús. Ay, más bien. Falta pero de ahí, snakes, snakes. Cuatro contra la puta. Oh, mira. La cápsula se ha devuelto. Interesantísimo. That was an unmanned weapon. A prototype. I made it myself. Who are you? I work here. Well, used to anyway. Name's Huey. Huey. Ah, la mierda. Parece Ota con la voz de Ota con. You don't look like one of those mercenaries. Me, I'm an entomologist. A fighting entomologist? Yeah, I specialize in butterflies. I'm here to catch Ulysses. Ulysses? Huh. I didn't think they lived in Costa Rica. 
Morphos, maybe? That's it. I need to get some before the Washington <laughs> Treaty. I'm on fact. Says here Morphos aren't covered under the treaty. That must have slipped my mind. You sure you're feeling all right? Anyway, long story short, okay. butterfly got away. So how about it, Doc? Did you make that big butterfly too? Uh, yes. No. Hello. And no. What was that thing? What are they doing here? Huh. Something tells me you're no ordinary entomologist. Entomologist. <laughs> the nukes were loaded on that machine. The project's entering its final phase. Project. That's a smoke. That's right. The thermonuclear warheads they brought in, the bases scattered throughout Costa Rica, the mercenaries, the AI weapons, the research we were conducting here. It's all for this. We use this facility to develop unmanned weapons. Unmanned. Robots. The one you just fought was a pupa. There's also a flying type Popa. called Chrysalis and a treaded type, the cocoon. Mierda. Motor control, Dos más. target detection, tracking, attack, capture and transport functions are all controlled by an electronic brain. There's no need for a human pilot. They can only follow simple commands, though. Why build them here? For the CIA. They invited me here a year ago. That's who that guy was. CIA hmm. station chief for Central America. Goes by the name of Hot Coleman. Coleman. Apparently he was some sort of hero back at the height of the Cold War. He's the one running the show. We called it the Peace Walker Project. Hmm. Peace Walker. Interesante. They're going to deploy a new type of nuclear weapon along the Caribbean coast of Latin America. A mobile unmanned nuclear platform. Unmanned nuclear platform? A failed deadly system that can automatically move into position and launch a retaliatory nuclear strike. It can move on its own, and stealth shields it from radar and satellite detection, drastically reducing the risk of it being destroyed in a preemptive strike. And this is the deterrent. Supposed to be. The problem is the locomotion system. There's no dry season in the Caribbean. It rains all year round. The terrain is full of tropical rainforest. A lot of the time you can't even build a proper road. So I went back to where it all started. What's that? Legs. Walking power. <laughs> uh -huh. A mobile launcher carrying a thermonuclear warhead even more powerful than the Soviet RDS 220s. That's Peace Walker. Case. We did the assembly and field testing here. A walking nuke. I sort of borrowed the original idea from behind the Iron Curtain. The missing link between infantry and artillery. Metal Gear. Metal mm. Gear. But they'd actually need to deploy dozens of them. Coldman needs funding for that. And to get it, he's planning a test, which will also serve as a demonstration for the folks back at Langley. Wait, Langley. He's launching a nuke to prove that his perfect deterrent works? In his words, to prove that if someone attacks us, we will strike back. Put simply, nuclear deterrence is the idea of using nukes to keep nukes in check. If mm -hmm. one side launches nuclear weapons, the other is sure to launch theirs in retaliation, which makes launching an act of suicide. In the end, neither side can use its nukes. It's thanks yeah. to this doctrine that the world's two superpowers have avoided all-out confrontation. Nuclear deterrence has brought us peace. At the very least, it's prevented another world war from breaking out. But the oh. theory of nuclear deterrence exists only on paper. In reality, there's no guarantee that either side would follow through with retaliation. Claro. There's the chance that a preemptive strike could destroy all the missile bases, render them unable to retaliate. But the biggest flaw in the theory is that the decision to retaliate has to be made by human beings. Obvious. Let me give Simple you a real-world example. Let's say Country X launches first against Country Y. 
If the people in charge of Country Wire are like you and me, they're not going to be able to retaliate, knowing that they're effectively ending all human life. So then the weak link in nuclear deterrence theory is no. the uncertainty of retaliation. Bingo. And that creates a loophole Country X can exploit to launch the first strike. Which is why we designed the system to be unmanned. With Peace Walker, retaliation is certain. It chooses the appropriate target and launches a retaliatory nuclear strike every time without needing human input to make the call. Launching a nuclear strike against Peace Walker is tantamount to pushing the launch button against yourself. Claro. It closes the loophole <laughs> in nuclear deterrence theory, rendering our friends in Country X completely unable to launch. Oh. What Coldman is saying is that to achieve this goal, we need to demonstrate that retaliation will be carried out by a machine. He will launch his nuke. And then his version of deterrence will be complete. And you echar la culpa on robots. I believe in peace through nuclear deterrence. Why? My father worked on the Manhattan Project. He put his whole life into that research. And all it created was this illusion of peace called deterrence. And then I was born. Unable to walk. No es otra cosa entonces. I had no choice but to face up to the nukes. But if they do end up launching, it'll all have been for nothing. They've got to be stopped. Where'd they take the warheads? To a base near the border. The final test is five days from now. Where's the base? You're gonna stop them? No te lo aseguro, tipo. And besides, there's a surefire way to halt the project. You see, Peace Walker isn't quite finished yet. What do you mean? It's missing one last critical structural component. The AI. Its brain. Cerebro. The reptile pod. The electronic brain I was working on can only follow commands like go there, attack that. I guess you could compare it to the human cerebellum. But for nuclear deterrence to work, it must function in place of a human decision maker. It needs something to analyze the huge volumes of data coming in and select an appropriate target for retaliation. Okay. Hence, it needs the high level decision making ability of a cerebrum. A mechanical cerebrum. The hardware configuration is modeled on the human brain, similar to the pod I worked on, but its role is completely different. Where's it being made? A research lab to the north. An okay. AI expert named Dr. Strangelove is developing it. Very hush hush. Dr. Strange Strangelove. Strangelove Kubrick. was recruited from the States too. In the field of AI, there's no one better, that's for sure. But man, what a basket case. She hates everybody. Go to the lab and destroy Peace Walker's cerebrum. I'm pretty sure they haven't finished the final calibrations yet. I'll lend you my ID card. It'll get you through security at the lab. Oh, and uh, one more thing. What's this? A letter of recognition? Yeah, it's, um, it's from me to Dr. Strangelove. Don't read it, okay? Curriculum. So what will you do now? I... I'm done with science. Yo igual. Nunca más. I'm probably already halfway to hell anyway. Not so fast. Why not join us? Our place is outer heaven. You'd fit right in. Outer heaven. Está vibrando, está bien, cabrón. I'm probably better suited to something like that than this paradise. Good. You get a free balloon trip for signing up. Enjoy it. You'll feel like a butterfly. Yo no estoy moviendo nada. You're an agent, right? Who do you work for? Me. I was a Cold War tool, same as you. Herramienta de la Guerra Fría. No, okay. so useful anymore, so they cut me loose. I don't answer to anyone. Call me Snake. 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 The name seems familiar somehow. Yeah, it's probably just deja vu. <laughs> see that there? Beyond the cloud forest? See those ruins? Yeah. That's where you'll find Dr. Strangelove's lab. Oof. 
combate contra la Pup Heroism 3. 20 minutos. Sí, eso ya vamos. Título otorga a los soldados que usan armas de medio alcance y ayudan a dar los tratamientos con métodos no letales. Ok. Tengo los planos del diseño de la categoría, bla bla bla. Tengo los planos de diseño del siguiente arma, objeto, granada. Chaf, granada para las cámaras. Eso tenido los planos de diseño del siguiente arma. Planos de visión nocturna, eso. Snake, the doctor's safe here with us. Huey, how are you feeling? Never better. This is quite the pad you've got here, boss. I'm impressed. Call me Snake. Whatever you say. Like it or not, everyone here calls you boss. Jefe, jefe. By the way, Gangri. if you're at all interested in <laughs> improving your tech, by all means assign me to the R&D section. I'm pretty sure I'll be of some use. Once we have the necessary materials, we can start work on that bipedal mech. I appreciate that, but are you sure you're okay with having your work used for war? I'm... I'll be using it to keep past mistakes in check. If I can help thwart the Peace Walker project, I'm happy to do it. Uh, the turret theory, Huey style, huh? <laughs> anyway, if you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. I've been given my own frequency. Sounds good to me, Doc. I'll do that. Good. Con ello. Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. Bueno gente, eso fue todo por hoy. Gracias por ver, suscribirse, comentar, like y favoritos. Nos vemos. Saludos. Hasta luego. Otros países. Otros países. Otros If it goes really well, we might even get new recruits, weapon design specs, or leads on new missions. We can deploy any vehicles or large-scale weapons in our arsenal as well. And if things don't go really well? Yeah, Muere. we could lose men. I won't try and force you. You're the one calling the shots here, boss. Okay. Saludos.